All right, now it is time for me to uh, clean the block surface, which has taken on quite a little bit of rust since we've been waiting for these parts in the mail. And to do that, I will be using these three tools, razor blade, carb spray, and a rag. I'm uh, too much of a sissy boy to use any power tools at this uh, particular juncture. Um, so I'm going to be doing everything by hand. I definitely don't want to scour the surface. Even though it's iron, I definitely don't want to scour it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just sort of real gently going around, spraying a small spot, and then scraping at it. Just like that. I'm trying to make sure that all this debris falls off the edge of the block and it doesn't uh, doesn't go into my coolant passageways, my oil passageways, or into the cylinders themselves. Also remember that carb spray is a really good dissolvent of things like plastic, rubber, um, oil, and so what I'm going to do is after this, and before I put the head gasket on, I'm going to put a thin film of, uh, of oil right around here, right around these cylinder heads to prevent scouring when they first start up. So, if my engine starts smoking real bad when we finally get all back together, you guys remind me that that's because I put oil around the cylinders. Okay? Okay. Alright, so my new head gasket came with this tiny little seal here, which presumably goes right onto there. And so, what I'm going to do is cut that one off and uh, make sure to install this one. Okay, head gasket goes on. And we got the new head on. So what I'm going to do is lubricate the threads of each of these bolts, put them in, and uh, tighten them down by hand. Alright, so that cam chain, chain tensioner design down there is kind of stupid in my opinion, but I got it all sorted up. We got the chain on and this uh, sprocket here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is uh, tighten down and torque these head, uh, these head bolts. Okay, everything's all torqued. What I like to do is torque everything um, by 20 foot-pounds in each step. So I basically I torqued all the bolts to 20 and then to 40 and then to 60 in the recommended sequence. Um, I got these two bolts, placement bolts in here for the ones that I snapped off. And now I know I need to affix this bolt and there's one all the way back here which I got to get to. Um, and then I'll start uh, putting on the manifolds. I got me a new intake manifold set um, and the uh, the exhaust I'm just going to reuse because it looks like a pretty decent one to me so I'm just going to just going to reuse it so uh, once I get these two bolts in um, I'm going to go after the intake alright those two manifolds are all finally bolted together now I'm going to start uh, reconnecting the wiring harness I already connected these coolant hoses here and after the wiring harness I'm going to go after um, the exhaust manifold. Alright so that's all hooked up again and uh, now I'm going to put in the distributor. Alright I have that more or less where I left it. You can see the uh, the uh, rotor here is pointed um, where the, the number one spark plug wire is going to go. Probably going to need some uh, adjustment with the timing light and so I kept these bolts loose. Now before we have everything all buttoned up, uh, what I'm going to do is put a socket on that crank there and uh, just rotate the engine two times um, to make sure that everything is uh, is where it ought to be. This is an interference engine and so uh, um, if I'm off by just one tooth I could damage my new valves and um, so uh, I want to just sort of rotate everything around by hand. If I feel any resistance, I'm going to stop and recheck the uh, the sprockets and the chain. I really shouldn't have anything wrong because I tied the chain to the sprocket, but just in case, definitely want to uh, do this before um, before I damage anything. So I'm going to rotate that around. Moving right along here, I got my throttle body in. Um, I got my distributor cap on, and I'm about to put the spark plugs in. Uh, I got everything more or less all hooked up, um, put the uh, um, sensor back in down there, um, it's starting to look more or less like an engine again, so hopefully we should be due for a, uh, for a test run in uh, not too long now. 
All right, so I got the intake all in, throttle cable here. Um, now I'm going to affix the uh, nuts that hold on the fan, um, fill this thing up with water, and uh, warm it up. I didn't do a uh, total super job attaching all this stuff down because I know it's got to come all off again even if everything's fine. I got to warm it up and retorque the head. So um, I just sort of finger tightened all these bolts here enough that um, I wasn't going to get any vacuum leaks or nothing like that while I was warming it up. And um, uh, once I warm it up, I'm going to retorque the head bolts. So fan, water, and we'll start on up. Okay, so I got everything back together and I uh, turned it on. It ran, uh, but it ran like junk. And so what I think was the problem was the fact that I just threw the distributor on in there without really even uh, giving any thought to, um, you know, to doing it right. So I went on a uh, line onto Mazda Trucking and uh, figured out how to do it right. And this is how I'm going to do my distributor. The distributor here has a couple of marks. All right. All right. Distributor here has a couple of marks. One. I try and get some focus on here. One is this little circle here, which you can see, and another is on the housing right here, right here. And what I want to do basically is line those marks up. See, just like that. Um, oh, whoops. It's that dimple right there. There you go. Not that circle, that dimple and then sort of a line on the housing. And once those are lined up, I can just sort of push this thing on in. Um, and uh, it should be more or less where it wants to be. To time it, I'm going to have to ground out, see these three connectors here? To ground out the little one, to send a wire from here to any known ground, you know, for example, right there. and. Um, then, uh, then I should be able to time it. There's like a timing advance, um, and by grounding it out, uh, the, it shuts this timing advance off on the computer, so you can ground it, or so you can time it properly. So I'm going to do all that, uh, throw this thing back in, um, and we should be good. All right, and uh, we are at top dead center, which I confirmed by the little dot down there. Top dead center. All right, let's do this. Woo! Look at that! Fire! Guess I forgot to reconnect the exhaust, but damn, I love that sound. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention about the distributor is once you line up those two marks and uh, push this thing in, you got to take the cap off and make sure that the rotor is pointed at the number one which is about uh, 9 o'clock. Mine was pointed down towards uh, down towards the number 4 and so what I did was I just popped the rotor off, twisted it around and popped it back on. It's got a triangular connector so there's only three positions that it can be in but uh, with the engine at top dead center you may need to pop your rotor off, um, your rotor button off and uh, put it back towards 1. Just took it out for a test drive and we are running great. Cooling system is working fine even though it's only filled with water right now. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, take the valve cover back off and retorque those head, uh, those head bolts, uh, put it back on, and then I'm going to do a uh, coolant flush and I'm going to change the oil. And fingers crossed, that ought to be it. And so uh, I can get back to my life. Okie dokie. Torquing down the head bolts. Flushing out the coolant system one more time. We are no longer pressurizing the uh, coolant system, which is a very good sign. Now I'm changing my oil, which was all kinds of contaminated with water. Look at that. Yuck. So at long last, the truck is running great. Um, running real smooth and everything. Uh, really no complaints about it. I was kind of hoping I'd get a little bit more of a horsepower boost. Uh, but uh, runs about the same, you know, we'll check out mileage, you know, once I uh, fill up again. But all in all, I am very pleased with the way it turned out. Plus a bonus, you got me a new head unit. Schwain.